this is kind of the rising issue with an Asian American running for president, calling him Kevin Yang or uh, John Yang and doing everything that he can, it seems like, to minimize his influence in the campaign. In the America that we know today, do you think an Asian American could ever become president? Oh, yeah. Well, I have no doubt about it. Um, in fact, I think there's a decent chance that if Andrew had not run into the obstacles that the Democratic Party put in his way directly and indirectly, that he stood a very good chance of winning. And the fact is, you know, as difficult as it might be to imagine uh, an, an Asian person winning that role, it's even more difficult to imagine a black guy doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, how about a black guy named Barack, right? Mm -hmm. How about a black mm -hmm. guy named Barack not only attaining the office, but winning it twice? So I think the thing is, I just don't accept that um, that Americans are so biased on such superficial characteristics that they won't see past them. Yeah, I think that's a story that we've been induced to believe, but there's nothing to it. This is definitely something that seems to be more prevalent in, in America. I mean, when they did the survey of, of Barack Obama, I think uh, were like 60% of people that were white called him biracial. Uh, and the majority of the people that were black called him black. There is this very deep rooted racism, even in our language uh, that I'm noticing. I mean, even the word of being blackballed or blacklisted or uh, what I've heard also is like the, the song that we teach our kids, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If you replace tiger with, you know, a word that we, a lot, a lot of people don't want to say, obviously is, uh, is, is there's deep racism in it that we just don't even realize, but it's so embedded into our everyday language that we've been taught since we were a little kid. Well, I think the thing is you don't have to reverse the little stuff. I don't agree that it's deep rooted. I think it's there, but it's shallowly rooted. And if you talk to yes. most Americans, they don't want a system that's biased on the basis of race. They're not yeah. interested in it. You know, we, you know, conservatives and liberals tend to disagree about how fair the system is today. But in general, it's only the farthest fringes that actually want a system that is biased. Everybody agrees that the best system is one in which everybody has an equal shot. Right. Mm -hmm. We all do. And for good reason. That is the best system. It's, it's you know, it's something like 86 percent of the country has basic agreement on what things should be like. They're not extremists. And unfortunately, the extremists on both fringes are driving the conversation and leading us to believe that these problems are much deeper than they actually are, which isn't to say that they don't exist. 